Hey everybody, it's Papa Gord here. Just gonna do a quick video for a wish list for Star Wars The Black Series. With the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back approaching and with the fan vote for 2019 up and active right now, I figure why not uh, throw out my suggestions or my want list of what I'd like to see come out uh, for Empire Strikes Back. So just before I get into my list, I'd just like to give a big thanks to everybody who has subscribed to the channel and for all the comments that I've got so far. It's just fantastic. Hopefully I think I've been able to reply to everybody who uh, put a comment uh, down in the downstairs area there. And um, let's just keep going with this. So figured why not drop a midweek video. So. I will put some pictures up. Um, I haven't been able to quite figure out how to do the put a picture here type of thing, so um, I'll hopefully I'll be able to figure out a way to blend it through. So I will be kind of looking down on my notes a little bit just so I don't forget anybody, but uh, here we go. So I figured um, Admiral Ozzel, why not? We've seen that they've been able to pull off uh, some more of the Imperial um, higher up officers. Admiral Ozzel, he's a good one. I think he'd be a great figure to go uh, with Tarkin and Piet. Um, yeah, so why not Admiral Ozzel? Uh, Ugnaught, do a two pack. We could have a couple of Ugnaughts. Maybe even uh, a couple of junked up pieces of an exploded C-3PO um, from the uh, the scrap heap that you see them kind of holding 3PO's head and looking at some of the parts when Chewbacca goes uh, searching for him in uh, Cloud City. Uh, how about Leia in her Cloud City outfit? I know we've got a few Leias uh, just this past year but now that it looks like they've been able to get the uh, that facial uh, scanning down, why not throw her into her uh, her outfit from when she's on Cloud City? Uh, the Imperial Probe Droid from the Battle of Hoth. I think that thing looks really cool. You could do them just just as the droid or maybe do a winterized version of Chewbacca with the with the Imperial droid as a two-pack that would be kind of neat uh, I think the uh, the cloud car if you wanted to actually do a six inch vehicle do the Bespin cloud car and do it with one pilot or do two pilots since there are technically two cockpits uh, for the cloud car so yeah so do the the cloud car and a couple of the Bespin pilots uh, going on with the Bespin theme I suppose uh, Bespin guards we did see in the film that there were multiple guards walking around and you could easily do different races we did see I do believe there was Asian um, uh, and then um, uh, a, a couple of black characters walking around uh, so you could even do you know, I guess if you wanted to do a single pack, you could do a double pack or two pack. But I think I'm starting to go too heavy with the uh, with the two packs this this round. Lobot for sure would be another one. Uh, you know, Lando's right hand man. Um, you know, I think again with the 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 face printing technology, they could be able to do a really good job at. Uh, getting the likeness down for for Lobot so he'd be another awesome uh, figure to add to the collection uh, sorry about that I gotta look down again uh, Wedge Antilles some rebel pilots we have his droid why don't we have Wedge yet so Wedge made it through all three films of the original trilogy why not 
give us a wedge. Wedge would be really cool to have, doing with the uh, removable helmet. If you wanted to, you could put him in his Hoth pilot outfit, so he's kind of got that bigger, bulkier look, or just give him his uh, X-Wing pilot outfit. So Wedge, again, fantastic. He'd think he'd be awesome to add as well. Going with the pilots, why not uh, Dak uh, Ralter, Rattler, um, Luke's uh, gunner um, pilot in the Snowspeeder um, for, again, the Battle of Hoth. Again, another pilot. I think he'd be pretty all right. He did have a couple of uh, words to say in the film. So, you can all include him. I guess if you wanted to really go big, you could do a Snowspeeder. Um, as well for a six inch size vehicle um, I think they could probably pull that one off at a pretty decent price point without being too much of a uh, price gouge and I think uh, I get two more two more uh, 2-1B medical droid Maybe not the most exciting figure, but then again, if you've looked at some of the Black Series figures that they've come out with since the line started, there's a few uh, figures that are a little less than, I guess, thrilling to have, but I thought the medical droid always kind of had a, a kind of a neat look to him, kind of a robotic skeleton kind of look as well and I do believe that's one of the few original figures I still have from when I was a kid. And, and uh, last on my list would be Major Derlin, or really John Ratzenberger's character as the Rebel Major from the Battle of Hoth. Again, with that face printing technology, why, why can't we get a John Ratzenberger action figure? If Marvel is popping out a Michael Pena, um, figure from Ant-Man and the Wasp, we can have a John Ratzenberger figure for Star Wars The Black Series. So he'd almost be one of the top ones I think I'd just uh, throw in there. Whether or not we'd ever see that, I don't know. We don't have any rebel troops from the Battle of Hoth. We have a snow trooper, but nobody for the snow trooper to battle against. I mean, yes, we do have Luke in his winter hoth outfit, but you know, give us some rebel troopers. That would be pretty sweet. So, you could do some generic ones as well. You know, it don't don't have to just be major players. So, um, I think looking at my list, that is it. So again, just a kind of a quick video, uh, just to put my thoughts out there of some figures that I think would be pretty sweet to see from Empire Strikes Back to be incorporated into the six inch black series line. So yeah, that's it. So let me know what you guys think. What would be, I don't know, give me a top three figures that you'd like to see them come out with. Um, have you done any of the voting yet so far? I do know that it's going to close in the next few days, I do believe. This is my first year actually doing the voting, so uh, it's been kind of neat so far to be, I guess, included in the process. But uh, yeah, that's it. Don't want to make it too long today. We'll have uh, hopefully an unboxing slash review this weekend coming up. And that's all I've got for you today. So again, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, you know supporting the channel so far. Like, share, subscribe, the, the usual YouTube mumbo jumbo. And have a good day. Eh?